Good morning. Happy Monday. I'm so stoked. It's 6.55. We're all dressed and ready. Say hi. Can say good morning. Say good morning. We're all dressed and ready for school. Want to say good morning, Ben? We're about to do our morning prayer and then Charles takes the girls to school and I'm going to go to work today. And then Charles will come back and work. So um, we'll check in in a little bit. I'm at work. I'm waiting for my computer to load up, um, my laptop to load. I thought I would quickly come on here and talk to my planner girls about Erin Condren. Sorry, I'm covering my last name here. Um, you know, I've gotten an Erin Condren for the last two years. Uh, 2013 was my first time purchasing an Erin Condren, and I don't know, I just I haven't really been happy with it. I, for one, this started happening very soon after I purchased it. I'm pretty rough on my planner. I, I carry it everywhere in my purse with me. This. See that? I mean, I know I could buy another one, and I bought this. It was before she, got, she gave the voucher for... Um, a free one, but I don't know. I don't even use like I tried planning. I tried uh, stickers. I meant, um, and you know, I just don't use like the weekly spreads. And I don't know. I'm just not motivated anymore with it. I'm not excited about Aaron Condren anymore. I'm doing a little research, and I'm really falling in love with the Inkwell press planner I think that's what I'm gonna purchase when they have another launch in November um, they completely sold out the first launch in October or excuse me in September and um, I think I'm gonna purchase the inkwell press for all my planner girls out there let me know what you think um, I don't use the weekly part I want to like I want to decorate it with stickers and I want to want it, my spreads to be so pretty like you see on Instagram but I don't know I find myself unmotivated I'm so indecisive like I could do it for hours and nobody has time for that so um I don't know let me know what your thoughts are um but yeah the more and more I read and see about the Inkwell Press the more I get turned on like you get a um a monthly budget list a monthly bill tracker you get um I love the fact that it comes with a notes page before each month and then after each month instead of all the notes pages being at the end like on the Erin Condren because I use the notes pages quite a bit um I don't know yeah we'll see I will definitely keep you guys posted about it all right well it's time to start my day oh the work day is done we are at home and I'm about to warm up our leftovers from last night tell me is anybody else's kids like mine where they have to eat the minute they walk through the door I mean if I don't have something where it's just quickly to warm up or something I have to give them another snack and then sometimes I run the risk of them not wanting to eat dinner because you know it doesn't take me long to cook during the week maybe 30 to 45 minutes but then waiting that 30 to 45 minutes it's like I guess hours to them they have to eat the minute we get home so that's why I try to do a lot of prepping on Sunday but thankfully my mom cooked last night so we're just having leftovers and that's what I'm about to warm up so the girls and I just finished eating. Charles went to the gym. Um, our workout schedule is that he goes at six on Mondays and Wednesdays and I go at seven on Tuesdays and Thursdays for right now. Um, I don't love the schedule. I was working out with a personal trainer at right at 4.30 after work, but some things changed with her schedule and now I just have to take the, the regular boot camp class. So um, I have to go on Tuesdays and Thursdays at 7 so but anyway the girls are playing in the living room we're about to go upstairs and play in their playroom for a little while but I wanted to touch base again really quick about my Erin Condren and what I'm gonna do because I've really got to make up my mind about what I'm gonna order because I need to order it you know by next month <laughs> sorry <laughs> uh, especially with um Erin Condren it being at the end of the year and people ordering I don't order when the new year or the next year um, updates are launched in July with Aaron Condren I just like a 12-month calendar from 
you know, January through December. So I did try to, I mean, I just like using my monthly, I just need a month at a glance look like this. You know what I mean? I really did try to do the weekly spread and I liked the, the idea of putting pictures in there. I just thought it was so cute, but this was a lot of work and a lot of time. And then I felt anxiety if I didn't have anything to write in the box. It's just so, I don't know, structured. It just, it makes me feel stressed because I feel like I have to have either a sticker or writing something in each box. I don't know, my planner girls out there, tell me what you do with your planner. So that didn't last at all. You know, I don't use, and I just feel like I'm wasting my money if I'm not gonna use the weekly. I mean, this, this planner is like 50 bucks. Now, the Inkwell Press is not any cheaper, but I just, there were so many added features in the Inkwell Press, like for instance, I love that there were there are notes. There's a notes page in the Inkwell Press in between each month, instead of flipping from the at the last week of the of the month and then to your month view. There's notes and then like a goal section, a bill tracker. Um, just I don't know, a lot of stuff that are just motivated me. Like, well, maybe I will start decorating my planner. I mean, I tried. I have stickers. I bought a lot of stickers from Etsy because you know you get inspired I'm, I'm in all those groups on Facebook and everything and you guys tell me if um, you're in any of those groups I would like to know how you guys use your planner if you utilize every piece of it because for a $50 50 plus um, investment in a planner how do you utilize yours I mean I, I can easily go to Office Depot and buy a monthly planner but who wants to do that once you've had an error hundred it's like who can go back to a plain planner I don't know I'd love to hear your input, but I am really leaning towards the Inkwell Press. It just motivates me and excites me. Um, and then I thought about getting a horizontal Erin Condren, but I don't know if I would use that. Because I do write kind of big, and I thought, well, maybe that's something exciting. But it wasn't exciting enough for me to say, oh, when, when she had her new launch in um, July, you know, I didn't want to run out and buy another one. So, I don't know. That's just my, I guess, two cents. So, are you girls ready to go upstairs and play? Yeah. Did you clean up? Okay. okay, we'll finish cleaning up. Look at the beautiful house we built for Jasmine and Aladdin. It is so pretty. What's the matter? Okay, let's see. Okay, you gonna put them in their house? Yes. Yeah. This is Jasmine. Okay, put them in the house. Big baby need a little Okay, okay. Are you scared of this? Are you scared of this, Ava? I think Ava's. Scared, scared of Mr. Elephant, so we're gonna put him away. Okay, okay, let's put him away. Okay, he's all gone. See, all gone. Okay, you gonna put Jasmine and Aladdin in their house? Not yet. I need to make these two sides. Okay, you make the two sides. See? Mm hmm. I just need to make these. Oh, the joys of playing. In a messy playroom. <laughs> I guess if it's not messy, it's not really played in, right? You <laughs> available hugs. Give 
Elmo a hug. Look, Elmo, look at how castle we made. That's so nice. Elmo, look at how Elmo loves the castle. <laughs> oh, <laughs> she was a little scared at first, but I think she she likes him now. <laughs> All right, so the girls have been bathed. We had a good play session in the playroom. It's almost eight o'clock, and they're eating their evening snack which is some apples that we picked. They are so good, still very, very sweet. They're almost like candy. So we will say good night to you guys. Say good night. Ava, are you going over to take a picture, you silly girl? <laughs> good night. Say good night. Say see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. <laughs> oh, you said bye. All right, guys, thanks for watching. See you tomorrow. Bye.